Paul and Robbie really work to bring emotion and feeling into how you think about leadership and that it's okay to you know, share your feelings and bring emotion and who you truly are to your leadership role instead of trying to fit a, um, a leadership norm um, that you might have read in a textbook. So the live case I think is one of the unique elements of TSL. Um, what it allows people to do is to move out of the confines and uh, the, of, of the traditional classroom and move from some of the more theoretical and academic side of the program to really engage with the, the lived world and what that means in practice. Well, the, the uniqueness, I, I suppose, uh, lies in the live case study. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, a, a, it's, it's something which you, you don't normally get with, uh, with other courses of, of this nature. Uh, well, the, the other parts of the course uh, look, it's, uh, it's done in, in a very different way to uh, uh, lots of the, these types of courses. There's, uh, there's much more uh, uh, re reflection in yourself about uh, what do you actually think about uh, what you're saying and, um, and doing and uh, how does that manifest itself in your, in your work life. I think it's, it's fantastic to get the opportunity to work with a group of people from really mixed backgrounds from across the public sector, whether that's Commonwealth, State, um, and from all different states and jurisdictions. And I think for it to really work, you know, everyone has to come and be willing to be open and share some of their stories and share some of their experiences. And I think that's one of the things the program's done. Look, we, we always hope people get a number of things out of it. One is a deeper understanding of this specific issue we're looking at. But in addition to that, we're also wanting them to understand that on almost any issue, there's the same dynamics going on. So whether you're looking at homelessness or in the past we've done um, family violence, we've done youth justice, you'll see the same dynamics going on, which is a lack of coordination across different silos, lack of communication, lack of agreed purpose. Lots of people working uh, with great passion and great skills and great commitment, but not often, not always in alignment. And, and one of the things that I think people start to get a whole different systemic perspective of is how if we're going to really make a significant progress on these issues, it requires a systemic focus and a systemic approach. It can't happen in a siloed and a piecemeal way. And they'll see that in the issue like homelessness and often they'll reflect back into their own context and realise exactly the same things will, will tend to be going on um, as well. Lastly, I think one of the things that people hopefully value is they, they see the incredible importance of actually getting out of you know, their normal environment, you know, which is usually an office block somewhere in Melbourne or Sydney or Canberra, and actually going to the very front line and listening to people both working on the front line, but also people affected by the issues and how their whole perspective can change when they actually hear a person tell their own story. When we're actually hear one person's personal story and the, the, the emotion of that and the frustration of that, that's just worth, you know, a hundred reports about that. So it's, it's, it's a, it has a big personal impact.